So hello and welcome to Feature Friday, as well as Casual Friday here at TRM. Got my Maximo hat on, we're good to go. And so we're going to talk about budget monitoring, a feature that's in Maximo that you might not be completely familiar with. So here we go. Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing you'll notice is that we are in 7612 is our version of Maximo. Same is true if you're using Application Suite, if you're in the Manage component, the budget monitoring functionality is uh, nearly identical. Budget monitoring is located over here in the financial module of Maximo. And you'll notice it's just down here on the list of other applications called budget monitoring. And I'm going to go ahead and click it and open it right up. Okay, so here we are. The budget monitoring application is open. The first thing that you'll notice is that you can have multiple budgets. Your budgets can have very different one from the other. So you can see here on our sample list that we have some that are focused on certain assets. In this particular case at a location, you can see we're looking at some maintenance budgets by different parameters. And you can see some others that we're actually looking at specific assets. I'm going to go ahead and open up this budget for this particular asset, 11450, and I'm going to use this particular budget number here. You also notice over on the right hand side that budgets have statuses, they have financial periods, financial years that uh, they're applicable to, and they're certainly based upon an organization as well. So the point here is that you can have many different budgets with different focus that you can manage all at the same time. So you'll notice that other than the metadata up here at the top describing this particular budget record, um, you can also set the year and the financial period when you're doing your calculations, as well over on the right hand side, who's responsible for the particular budget. The important part right here is what they call the focal points. Now your focal points can be things like work orders, it could be specific locations, there's quite a number of different points that you can use to identify what your budget is. You'll also notice over here on the left hand side there are some actions where you can manage those focal points as well as some rules and things about your budget. A focal point is just a query. If I expand the focal point here for assets, I can see that my condition, my where clause, is really just looking at this one particular asset. So this right here is able to tell you that your focal points, your budgets, uh, can be rather sophisticated and very focused, depending on what your needs are. In this case, this particular budget, I'm just going to look at the expenses and the costs and things that come in for this particular asset, I should say. Sorry. Okay, so now let's roll down beyond the focal points into the section called budget lines. When you first set up your budget, you'll have to take the action to generate budget lines. You get to identify what the different lines are going to be in your budget. Once they are established, once you've saved your budget, then you'll start to see some more information. If I expand here and roll down a little bit, I can see that for this particular asset, I have some budget line items. I have internal and external labor, I have materials, I have services, and I have tools. This is starting to look a little bit like the plans tab and the actuals tab on a work order, isn't it? Basically, for each one of these budget line items, I am able to establish a budget, save my budget, and then as work orders are processed against, in this case, this one particular asset, as the plans tabs are filled in, the labor and material amounts are filled in on a plans tab and the work orders are approved, I will start to see estimated cost, committed cost, and then as those work orders are filled in from an actual standpoint and are completed, I will start to see actual costs coming in here as well. So again, once I've established my focus, once I've established the line items and the budget amounts, 
Then it's just a matter of sitting back and waiting for work orders to be processed and those actuals come in and start to hit my budget. This can be automated as far as how it gets updated, but you can always come in over here on the left hand side and click update budget lines. And that's it. So there you go. That's budget monitoring. Pretty straightforward. There's a lot of other documentation available on the feature and function that will uh, uh, fill in some of the details that maybe we didn't cover here today. Anyway, thank you for watching the video. My name is John Q. Todd, one of the senior business consultants, and enjoy your weekend. Thank you. Thank you.